You were right. He's coming around now. Who are you? How do you feel? Rotten. Who are you? You'd better relax, mister. You've had a nasty blow in the head. This is Mr. Ridley. Charlie Ridley. My name is Malamos. We're friends of Mr. Graff's. Who hit me? Don't you know? Who are we out here with? I came out here alone to see Mr. Graff. Graff. That body was warm when I got here. It's 1.30 now. When did you get here? About noon, I guess. That's when my appointment was. Appointment? Yes, Graf telephoned me and asked me to come out here. He said he had something he wanted me to take care of. Can you prove it? Well, he had it written down on his desk pad. Gone. Something else is gone, too. You mean the diamonds? That's exactly what I mean. <laughs> we found them. We phoned the police. They should be here soon. They should have been here sooner. That fact doesn't seem to disturb you. You mean about the police? Why should it? You mean you think I killed this man? Not necessarily. It could have been your partner. My partner? Sure. After all, I doubt that you hit yourself on the head. He left you to face the music alone. Why shield him? <laughs> Who is he? You're crazy. The police will certainly be curious. That's what they get paid for, but why are you curious? And who did you say you were? Uh, this is Mr. Malamus. My name is Ridley. I... I still want to know who you are. What my colleague is trying to say is that we're business associates of Mr. Graff. Partners. We're importers of gems, precious stones. Whoever tried to steal those diamonds from Graff was stealing from us, too. Naturally, we're kind of anxious to find out who's behind all this. I see. So I'm a killer and a thief. Is that the picture you're going to paint for the police? How do you sketch yourselves into this little scene? We arrived after the murder. And we can prove it. Who put you up to this, Barnett? 
I found this in your pocket. Your name's in it. Private investigator, huh? That's a detective who enforces a law of supply and demand, Charlie. Some of them will do anything for money. Did you get paid a lot for this job, Barnett? Not that it's any of your business, but the job I came out here to do is to pick up some valuables from Graf and take them to a lockbox in New York City. He hired me on the telephone. He didn't tell me what the valuables were. I presume they were diamonds. And thanks very much for picking me up off the floor. Ah, oh, your money's all there. We returned everything that was yours. What do you mean by that? Just this. The diamonds. We told you. We found them in your pocket. Now I begin to get the picture and the frame that goes with it. Nobody framed you, Barnett. <laughs> We're businessmen, not bandits. We happen to think somebody put you up to this. If you won't tell us, you'll very soon tell the police when they get here. When are the police getting here? They're due here any minute. We phoned them half an hour ago. You phoned them on that phone? Naturally. We'd better call them again. I think you were disconnected. You boys had better splice that thing together and call your lawyers. I'll get the cops. Barnett! What'd you say your business was? Importing precious stones? <laughs> That's right. You're all so cop shy. When do you do your importing? On dark nights and on deserted beaches? The customs people call it smuggling. We call it keeping the overhead down. <laughs> Why not take a look out that back window? The two platoon system, huh? What do those two pirates do? Bury the loot? Not the loot. The general manager. They're digging a grave, Barnett. Big enough for two. Why don't you cooperate? What do you want to know? Graf bought 15 diamonds today. Eight of them were found in your pocket. Who are you out here with and where are the other seven diamonds? If I don't tell you, I go through that door, is that it? It's up to you. And if I do tell you, you let me leave through that door. After all, we can't afford to turn you over to the police. That's not exactly an answer, but then I'm not going to give you one either. You're making a big mistake, Barnett. Come on, man. You help us, we let you off the hook. Why should you? If I'm legitimate as I say I am, I'd go straight to the police. If I'm a thief as you say I am, I'd blackmail you, try to cut my son. Uh-uh. If I talk, you'll have to pull that trigger. Well, she's all dug and I'm beat. Did he open up yet? He has a foolish notion, the longer he keeps us guessing, the longer he lives. Yeah? That's a mistake. Meet the rest of the firm. Mr. Lacken, Mr. Sallow. We better hurry up and get that stiff in the ground before we have to bury him sitting up. It's getting late. You better finish the job. Uh, I mean... Suppose you finish it, Pudgy. You and that other straw boss. Graf ain't been dead a couple hours yet and everybody's given orders. I broke my back digging that hole out there. Suppose you break yours dragging that tub of lard out there and throw in a minute. Sure, sure, Barney. Will somebody keep him covered? I got him. Take a street, Willie. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, couldn't we finish this little matter first and then just fill in the hole? You mean let the coolies do it, huh? What's the matter? You afraid the detective will talk to us while you're gone? Yeah, well, maybe he will. We trust you, Barney. Why should you? Let me see those diamonds. Why? Come on. All right. Got them right here. I see you have all eight of them. We'll start being partners. I'll take my two right now. I'll just take any two. OK. I'll take mine. There you are, Sam. Don't fill in that hole. Leave plenty of room on top. Okay, Mr. Detective. Now, you and me are gonna talk my language. <laughs> no, Sal. This guy's got plenty of moxie. We could use a little of that in our outfit. 
Oh, him? He's a thief. Oh, who ain't? Yeah, you can keep him covered. Him and me's gonna have a little talk. Come here, Barnett. Sit down. Look, how'd you like to join our organization, huh? Well, now, I've been waiting for an offer. All I've had is threats. It's a lead pipe. We're salesmen, that's all. We just wait for the goods to come in, split it up, and we each got a territory. Sounds all right. How does the goods get in? Risk, you mean? No risk. We got a guy working the boats, a sailor. He picks up the diamonds on the other side. They're usually hot stuff, so he gets them cheap. He sneaks them in. How? How? <laughs> Who knows? In the captain's ears. Anyhow, he brings them in, see? Takes them out in the mud, buries them. Then we go clamming. We all go clamming, tell him. Yeah, well, Sal means that Graf doubled on us and went out by himself. He'd made a side deal, see? Didn't tell the organization. But we heard about it. That's why we all come out here today. That's how we found you. Yeah. Wasn't that a lucky thing for you, I mean, huh? Getting in on a setup like this. Yeah, just what I've always wanted. The only thing is, we stand to lose a lot of dough. The whole organization does, including you. You see, seven of the diamonds are still missing, partner. Where are they? You mean you want me to tell you, too? Oh, what do you mean? Tell me, too? Who else did you tell? Animus? Why, the... Ah, uh, he said you didn't talk. Yeah, that's what he said. Get Malamos. We're gonna have a showdown right now. All right, let's have it. What's all this about a showdown? What's going on here? What went on, you mean? You tell Sal and me to go out there and dig a hole in the sand. You guys go through him like a loose leaf notebook. That's how it was, huh? What are you talking about? He didn't tell us anything. I'll bet. Now listen, pudgy boys. I've been double dealt once today. I ain't gonna be twice. You're crazy. Barnett told you where the diamonds were, didn't he? He did not. Hey! Hey, sit down. He didn't tell us. Did he tell you? No wonder you're giving me orders. You're richer than I am, huh? Don't holler at me. I got no more idea where those diamonds are than you do. Well, maybe you do. Oh, take it easy, you fool. What did you do, beat it out of him? Why, you get so hard out, out of him. you hear? Don't you see what he's trying to do? You bet I do. No, no, no. I mean Barnett. He started all this. Don't you see? He hasn't told anybody. He has no intention of talking. He's going to try to angle through this alive so that he can get to the diamonds. Yeah, that's right. You made another mistake, Mr. Barnett. It was worth a try. You might have all shot each other. Are you going to tell us who's got those diamonds? What's your hurry? We don't have much time, and you have even less. Maybe he's stalling because he doesn't know. Maybe he is on the level and someone tried to frame him. Maybe you're right. If he is legit, what'll we do with him? Stand him up against that wall. Come on, you. Hey, listen, we do it here, we gotta lug this guy outside. He ain't no bag of butterflies. Sure. We uh, take him outside. Then he just falls in the hole, nobody has to lug him. Lazy. Oh, boy. Take him outside. Come on, you. A duplex. You can move right in. Well, he says he's ready. Go ahead, Salo. What do you mean, me? You've got a gun, haven't you? Well, so what? So have you. Go ahead. Shoot. You know what, Sal? I think the pudgy boys are afraid of a murder rap. But on us, it's all right. Yeah. All right, come on. We'll all do it. Oh, wow. Come here. Come here. I'll show you. Oh, turn around, you. Here's what we do. I'll empty the cylinder. Put one cartridge back in the chamber. We'll all take turns in the trigger till Mr. Barnett joins our friend, Mr. Graff. <laughs> Russian roulette. 
Barnett, you're gonna like this. I'd rather play Run Sheep Run. Try it. Since you say you don't know anything about the diamonds, let's not waste any more time, huh? I'm aiming right at your head, squeezing the trigger. <laughs> well, what do you know about that? It hit an empty chamber. Your turn, Mr. Larkin. Yeah. Okay. Right between the shows. <laughs> what do you know? I'd have sworn there's a bullet in there somewhere. Your turn, Ridley. Why, this is murder. I don't... You ain't intended to do any of your own killing, is that it? You better do it, Ridley. <laughs> you got a lot of luck, Mr. Barnett. Your turn, Sallow. Oh, Sallow's a type that likes to shoot from the hip. A method that's not very accurate. Uh, all he may do is wound you. <laughs> We'd hate to have to bury you while you was just painfully wounded. Hope you're having fun. Why not? You've had yours. We're entitled to ours sometime. A few laughs, a few diamonds. The odds are right, mister. One to three. That's a short price. Go ahead, Shallow. What remarkable luck you've had, Mr. Barnett. It's my turn again. Shall I take it? What do you hope to prove? First, if there's really a bullet in here. Second, that you remember where the diamonds are. What makes you think I'd tell you, even if I knew? It's coming back to him now, but Barney has another turn. There's only one left. <laughs> hear that, Detective? There's only one chamber that hasn't been fired. I hear it. <laughs> Apparently, you do think we're bluffing, huh? <laughs> but are you sure? I'm sure you're crazy. Are you sure there's not a bullet in the chamber? All right, Barney. I had my turn. You take it. Thanks, pal. So have I. Yeah, this was your idea. Hear that, Barnett? It's my turn again. I'm ready. Are you? Okay, Malamus, you win. I think you're crazy enough to do it. I'll tell you where the diamonds are. He's lying, Alex. He's just... Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a boat out there. Come on. Let's get into the house. Come on. You said you knew where the diamonds were. Did I? I meant I know who has them. Who? who? One of you four. Oh, that's not smart. You're the only ones who knew Graf was going to pick them up today. Very clever. Come on, let's knock this guy Wait off right minute. now. Wait a minute. Who is it? Whoever is most anxious to kill me before I tell his name. I want to know who it was, too. Graf was killed about noon, just before I got here. I have an idea. One of you left here just before I arrived. I got news for you. We all left New York separately. We arranged to meet at a gas station about a half a mile down the road. Then we all came out together. We all arrived at the same time. Did you all arrive at the gas station at the same time? Just about. I met Barney and Sala on the road. Followed them in. They were in the same car. That's right. And Ridley was waiting for us at the gas station when we got there. Oh? How long had you been waiting, Ridley? Long enough to have my oil changed. Who does this egg think he is? Well, answer the man. How long were you there? I told you. I got there ahead of you about an hour. So I had Ben change my oil while I waited for you. I never left that station until you arrived. Well, we could call Ben at the station. Ask him. He knows us. Phone's out of order. One of us could go down there and ask him. Yes, and I'll go with him. What? Who's going to stay here with the detective? Oh, I'll be all right. But there's just one thing. If the one who goes to the gas station happens to have the diamonds, he may never come back. Why don't we all go? Take the smart detective with us. Are you nuts? Why not? He knows what'll happen if he tries to step out of line. OK. I don't trust any of you. Come on. God, we'll use Ridley's car. Your grave's already dug, mister. Tell him, Ben. I had the oil change while I was waiting. That's right. Mr. Ridley got here a little bit after 11. I know, because I worked on his car for half an hour, changed the oil and like that, and then I went to lunch. I always go at 11.30, regular. A state highway down here, just up the road a piece. Was Mr. Ridley here when you left? Yep. Still here when I got back. Said something about uh, waiting for you fellas going up to Mr. Graff's place. 
May I ask something? Sure thing. This is your car, isn't it, Ridley? That's right. When you change the oil on this car, did you make a record of the mileage? Sure, right here. Right here. 36506. It was a half mile to the house after he picked you boys up and a half mile back here just now. What's the speedometer read? 36507. And if I did take that extra trip you mentioned while Ben was at lunch, what would it read? Half mile here and back, 36508. Doesn't show it. I think we'd better be heading back, Mr. Barnett. Just a minute. Could that speedometer have been tampered with? Oh, look. Nope, seal's unbroken. Mind if I have a look? Nope. Well? It hasn't been touched. That's what it said, shall we? Hey, Mr. Malamos. I thought you might like to know, when that fella had his head under the dashboard there with me, he whispered something about me calling the police. What fellow did you say? I don't know. i never even seen him. All right, we've got some unfinished business. So I. You had your chance, Detective. You didn't prove a thing. I was stalling for time then, but now I know who killed Graf and who took the diamonds. Yeah, 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 you said that before. Now I'll prove it to you. Get that driver's seat. What? Go ahead, get the car. Huh? Put it in reverse and back around that big tree. Okay. What does that prove? Turn around. What's that mark on the back of your jacket? That's a streak of grease from leaning out the car door. That's the easiest way to steer when you're driving in reverse, isn't it? Yeah, sure. And driving in reverse doesn't register on the speedometer, does it? No, it doesn't. Ridley, what's in the back of your jacket? Nothing. You got that grease mark driving that extra mile in reverse, the one that didn't show on the speedometer while Ben was out to lunch. Are you going to believe him? Why, he's only trying... You search the car, I'll search him. Now it's your turn. You only put one bullet in there, remember? I'll tell you. Put up your hands. Boy, am I glad to see you. But how'd you happen to be over in this neighborhood? Well, the game warden reported that the owner of this place was out there clamming this morning. Came out to serve him a summons. You know, this whole shore has been posted. They're seeding it with oysters. You'll have to serve your summons at the grave, I'm afraid. Yeah, I saw it. OK, Mac, cover him. Is that the killer? Yeah. Now, we were searching the place just now when the car drove up with the guns on you. Is he dead? No. But I don't think he'll live to walk the last mile. He won't have to walk the last mile, he just drove it in reverse. same channel next week for another exciting case from the file I call Follow That Man.